what up youtube coming at y'all with another video we in the back of the shop this time you have a v3 and you got issues with it running rough smoking feels like it's misfiring you got a stuck fuel injector it's dumping a bunch of extra gas in the motor so i had to pull the supercharger off i'll give you an example when i start it up right now it's gonna be a fuel injector problem and these LT engines are direct injection, so the injectors sit in the cylinder heads underneath the supercharger. So today we're going to go ahead and get the blower pulled off so you can hear how rough it's running. Smoking a bit, smells like a lot of fuel. It smells like a lot of gas on the driver's side. So you can hear it's running a little rough. Like if it's misfiring. So let's go ahead and let's get this supercharger pulled off. All right, so you saw in that first portion, I pulled the crossbar for the suspension and pulled the lid off, all the electrical connectors, uh, took the air box out, took the tensioner loose right there for the belt, and then just got all the bypass valve, just all the stuff out of the way. Now that we got access under the lid, we're gonna go ahead and pull the blower bolt out. One thing on these LT4 superchargers, there's one bolt in the back back there, and there's one more right back here. But when you're looking at the blower, you don't typically see them. Well, that one's standing up, so you see it now. There's four here, and then two more on the back. So just keep that in mind when you're pulling it off. Right, now we have the supercharger off what we're trying to access is the fuel injectors here so the one that was stuck it's actually this cylinder here you can see all the extra fuel in that one cylinder it looks a lot different than the rest let's go ahead and uh get these injectors torn out of here you know it looks like a crazy mess with all the lines everywhere but it's actually pretty simple Thank you. 
So you can see that's where the injectors sit. And then of course, that's where the intake runners are for the supercharger. But I'm gonna go ahead, just cover that up. And I always blow stuff out with air and the whole nine because the one thing you don't want is something to drop down in those intake runners and then you put the blower back on and not pay attention. Go ahead, get these injectors disassembled real quick and we will run them over to AUS to get them cleaned. All right, so we got the injectors in here. We're gonna go ahead and pop the clips off here, unplug the injectors and get them out of the rails so we can get them taken over. See the condition of them. They've definitely seen better days. AUS injection. All right, so we got the injectors back from AUS. These are the two that uh, were leaking. So we actually got some brand new ones to install in place of those two. Go ahead and uh, get these injectors in the rail. Get it back in the car. All right, all the injectors are in. Let's go ahead and get them in the car. When you start to have leaky injectors, this is what the plugs start to look like all fouled out. So just keep that in mind. So you wanna make sure you're not doubling up on seals in here. A lot of times I see that happen. There's a seal stuck in there and then the new injector will come with a seal. People will sandwich it together, causes a fuel leak, then you got a fire. So let's go ahead and uh, get all this cleaned up. We'll get the injectors back in, get everything locked down with Loctite. And then uh, we'll put the blower back on, get these spark plugs swapped out on both sides. All right, let's go ahead, get to work. All right, so we checked down in every cylinder, got it all nice and cleaned up under here, cleaned up the little intake runners. All right, cannot stress it enough on this direct injection stuff. Lock tight all the bolts and all the threads for the lines go ahead and lock tight up this second rail let's get some more threads on that one i know i'm using a lot but shit i'd rather use this whole bottle than have any other issues let's go ahead and get this second side in all right i got both injectors locked down both sides everything's tightened and torqued to spec Got Loctite on all the bolts. Got the connectors plugged in in the back on both sides. Fuel, high pressure fuel pump there. Alright, so we got all the lines locked down with Loctite. So we're gonna go ahead and get the blower thrown on. Each connector is connected and locking tab is locked down for each injector. And then I checked each hole with a flashlight individually just to make sure nothing, no debris or anything fell down in there. Everything looks clear as day. So let's go ahead and get this blower on. Just like that, the blower is set back on. You just want to make sure when you're putting it back on, all these connectors are out of the way because it does come pretty close. So you just got to make sure the harness is out of the way. And then uh, I unplug all these connectors, of course, just to give me some extra room in the harness so I can finagle the blower back. But both of the dials are in and then the plug right underneath the blower is right in the bottom of the blower where it's supposed to go. 
let's go ahead and uh, start getting the rest of the blower reassembled. Get this thing fired up. All right, so we got all the blower bolts all tightened down. Got everything locked in place. We're gonna go ahead and start getting all these connectors and stuff. And then uh, we'll throw this lid on right here. LT4 supercharged lid. What you wanna make sure is that all the O-rings are on the top of the lid. Nothing looks flat or damaged before you actually throw it on. Let's go ahead and uh, get this thing thrown on. All right, the lid is on. Woo, look at that thing. LT4 supercharged. So go ahead and I got all the uh, connectors and everything all plugged up. I'm just gonna once over everything, make sure all the security tabs and all that are locked down. Got the bypass valve attached, bolted down. Got the belt back on. Got all the PCV lines back together. Put all the plugs on both sides. There's some LTR 7IXs-11 Iridiums NGK. The actual part number is a 6510 if you're looking for them, but they're about like a step or two colder for these LTs. Right, we got the mobile one filter on. I already drained the oil. Actually taking these V wheels off, just getting these HREs. So we're going ahead, getting these swapped over real quick. Live. 